One thing that you folks ha might have been noticing every so often right underneath me, a QR code pops up. Oh, it's right there. Hello. Hello. How are you? If you have the ability to scan it, you can, you don't have to, but you can. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today, because when it comes to capturing your clips on stream, um, you know, if you have the, uh, if you have like a shortcut key that is integrated into your stream deck or your touch portal, or just a keyboard shortcut key that will just take a Twitch clip or take a clip from your OBS, that is a great way to make sure that you get the clips that you want. But if you want AI to do it for you so you don't have to think about it because, you know, when you're in the midst of the game, you get tunnel visioned into the game. And the last thing you want to remember is, oh, clip. That's the last thing that you want to remember unless you have a great mod or, uh, or somebody else um, that's watching the stream that can take the clip for you. So I have recently come across this website, uncanny.gg. Actually, it's live.uncanny.gg, but once you sign in, it's just uncanny.gg. This allows you to not only automatically create Twitch clips for you, which is super useful, but it can also on screen share instant replays of your kills or game triggered hype. Like if you're in a BR and there's five squads left or just five people left, that's a big deal. Especially if it's like PUBG or Apex Legends or even Fortnite for that matter. Um, and then if you want to take the extra step, you can monetize your boosts. So what does this look like? Well, when you, when you sign in, first off, this works on um, Twitch and it works with YouTube gaming. It does not work with Facebook gaming right now. And then with respects to integrating this into your Twitch, you have to use Streamlabs or OBS. I'm assuming if you use another third-party broadcast software that does support browser sources, it would be supported in that as well too. But most of us are going to use one of the two, whether it's Streamlabs or OBS. Once you sign in, this is what you're going to get. So we create a canvas. Now, as I mentioned, this is AI working for you. So whatever is happening on the back end, they have AI checking the screen for key pop-ups, like when you kill somebody or when you down somebody or uh, when there's, uh, like I mentioned, five people left in the game. Those things populate on the screen in the exact same places every single time. So AI is trained to notice that but you do have to specify which game that you want this for. So if you're more of an Apex player versus a Fortnite player, then we can um, then we can create what they call a canvas for Apex. Now that I'm playing a little bit more Fortnite, I have a canvas for uh, Apex and another canvas for Fortnite. This is the URL that you want to import into your OBS or into your Streamlabs. You just add a browser source like you've done in the past, like we've talked about on this channel in the past. It's very, very simple. The only caveat is you need to make sure that the browser canvas is 1920 by 1080 or at least 1270 by 720, whatever that is. I put 1920 by 1080. If you have it set to the default, which is 800 by 600, it's not going to come out um, all that well whatsoever so now we can go to adjust layout see so pretend this young man is me over here and something amazing happens so this is what's going to show up if you automatically unlock a hype event you see that that automatically will will populate on screen you as a streamer do not have to do anything if an instant replay gets triggered the instant replay will populate in and, and show off in the bottom left hand corner. You can change the uh, position of some of these. So I'll wait for that to disappear. So I can move this up if I want to. So now if we save and exit that, go back into it and we go into advanced editing. This is where you can get a little bit more nitty gritty. So first off, what you want to do is you want to activate your instant replays. You can do a few things. You can set it so it's either the default zoom 
where it's exactly how it comes across to all of you guys that are watching the stream, or you can have it zoomed in. So it really is only on the actual uh, task at hand, which is the down or the amazing kill that you just did. And here is where you can automatically create Twitch clips. It will automatically be imported into your Twitch clip library. Then after the fact, you can go back into your library, rename them, delete them, do whatever you want. And then if we go to advance, advance allows you to, to mandate the cooldown. So if you're getting a lot of kills and it's, it's, it's wanting to create a lot of instant replays for you, then uh, you might want to increase that cooldown. So instant replays don't happen every single second. You have a little bit more manageability with that. Now, these on the left hand side are going to be the standard hype triggers here. So five minutes and five kills. So if you get five kills within five minutes, this is the thing that's going to pop up. This is the challenge that's going to pop up. And not only that, you have the ability to set different audio settings in here as well, too. So you can have the orchestra play. This all goes into your browser source. So everything that you're doing here, once you do it here and you have the browser source installed into your OBS, there's absolutely nothing else that you need to do. So the only other thing really is the boost and signing up for a revenue share. If you sign up for revenue share, you do have to fill out a tax document. I don't know how this works exactly for non US residents. I did see that there is a document that you can fill out as a non US resident so you can still take advantage of this. So don't fret if you don't live in the United States, this still might apply to you. And Uncanny uses the exact same company for their taxes for their W9 that Twitch uses. So if you've already signed up for Twitch and their affiliate program, this is the exact same thing, but it's gonna be with Uncanny. So you're already familiar at least with the setup process. And with Uncanny, you can earn up to 90% of the revenue that you earn. Once you set up your taxes, once you set up all of that, now, now we can bring back this screen here. Cool. Once you set that up, then you want to create a boost link. Now on Twitch, it's a little bit easier because we have panels. And with panels, you have a little bit of a manageability to, to again, customize your panels and do all that and then some. Um, so I will pull up my panel in just a second so you guys can see what the panels look like. Uh, but yeah, you can right click on any of these three and it will allow you to download it. And then you just select and copy that URL. And that is a specific URL just for you. You don't want to share that with anybody else. And so this is how my panels look. So I've got my about rules, da, 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 da. And then here's the uncanny boost. So if I click on it, it's going to essentially open up the exact same URL that the QR code scanned into. And then you just the same way that you would donate directly to somebody's stream instead of doing bits or a subscription, this would be the same thing. And you can pay via PayPal. Actually, PayPal is coming soon. You can pay by uh, Amazon Pay, Apple Pay, or direct debit or credit card. Completely up to you. So why, why am I showing you guys this? What, 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 what is the importance of Uncanny? Well, again, to make it a little bit easier for you guys to create those Twitch clips, we had talked about how to edit those Twitch clips last week, basically how to make them more uh, favorable to social media, which is great. But again, it's the creating the Twitch clips. That's the part that can get hard because we could forget that we want to clip that. There's so many times you've played a game and you're like, oh, I wish I clipped that and it's too late now. Well, with Uncanny, it doesn't have to be too late. And once again, you don't have to pay for anything and you don't have to have anybody else pay for anything either. The monetization and the boost, that's completely up to you. But the bread and butter, the, the, the thing that makes Uncanny really, really cool is their AI is the fact that it will just watch the stream. It'll watch the game that you're playing. So I highly recommend it. It is free to sign up live.uncanny.gg or just go to uncanny.gg.